for a uh, uh, for the special Olympics, and then we inquired about where is the best school in the country. Yeah. 
the, we're the third planet of a solar system. And there's 100 million solar systems in only the Milky Way galaxy. And we know now with our telescope that there are 100 trillion galaxies all over the universe. So lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of planets. Is this really not presumptuous to think that we're the only form of life out there? Probably not, but it's just as presumptuous to think that they come to visit us, the third planet of a small solar system in the outer arm of an ordinary galaxy. If they were, first of all, there's no evidence right now. We don't have any proof that there are other signs of life out there yet, maybe. But if there were people visiting us, everyone would see it, not just two guys in the forest out there with a malfunctioning uh, camera, right? So we would all know, we would all know. So that there's no one visiting us, but is there are forms of life out there? We think so, potentially, and one of the reasons we want to go to Mars is for that. Because if we find even an old fossilized molecule of bacteria somewhere in the soil of Mars, that will tell us that life is everywhere. As if it's here and on Mars, then it's everywhere, right? But we don't know that yet. That is for us to discover. It's one of those big questions in science that have not been answered yet. Maybe you can answer it one day. How can you help Aboriginal communities throughout times in general? Uh, in the same manner that that, uh, that is done all, all ways, sort of with, with uh, strength, community, uh, all working in toward uh, similar objectives, and uh, for that, then it needs to be done at all levels, yeah? From the ground up, all the way to governments and everything. Uh, it, it's interesting because I was talking a lot about space and International Space Station, and I did not dwell on this, but uh, when I went to space, there was a European, a Japanese, a couple of Americans, Russians, and me, the Canadian, and if you look at how we're getting along on the ground, it's not always perfect. But in space, because our future and our well-being is all meshed together, now we make efforts. And, and I think it is. And, and if I can say how proud I am to be part of a nation of First Nations, because this is how we are, Canada. We are a diversity. Of, of people, some of them have been here for thousands of years and some of them have just chosen to come here and live here as Canadians or as visitors and that is what makes us so such a great nation, is our ability to all be together and we need to keep that in mind always. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, my name is As a representative of the Crown, clearly, I am uh, 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 very respectful of the TTs that have been put together, but I am the Governor General and I'm an appointed official uh, by the Government of Canada and I let the, uh, the it is the elected officials that, that uh, make these uh, and the treaties happen. And that is why, young people, it is so important that you get involved. In, in the democratic process, that if you have an opportunity to vote, whether it is for your class or the school president or for the municipal government, one day you will be uh, having in your hands this precious vote, use it. Because that's the only way. That's one of the, not the only way, but it's definitely one of the important ways that you can make uh, the society that you want and my future. That was the question, so okay. bring it over here. Hi, hello. Um, as a female astronaut, did you face discrimination and how did I handle it? As a female astronaut, did I face discrimination and how did I handle it? Well, uh, I think that uh, as, as a minority, uh, you always end up being a little bit more scrutinized. 
That's, that's the way I, I, I think about it. So in a world where there was not only many uh, women, but there was not many Canadians, and there was not many Canadians who spoke French at home. Oh, there was no many Canadians with curly hair or long hair. So, so I kind of stood out a little different than the rest of my colleagues. And the way I think that uh, it always works is that if you work hard and you control, even this, a few things I don't control. I was born a girl, was born in Montreal, Canadian, I can't change that. But I can control who I am, how I behave. I can control my education. I can study. I can become better. I can improve. I can be a good citizen. That I can control. And by doing that, and by being good, competent, really, and building my skills, then it doesn't matter what I look like, what color is my skin, what language I spoke when I was little. What matters is that I'm part of a team and I contribute to that team. And that's how I did it. And I ended up having quite a lot of responsibilities on my space flight. And today, I'm, I'm the Governor General and I still do this. I'm very humble uh, with respect to, uh, I don't think I know everything and I work hard. And that's how, uh, I, you know, I don't, if you do the job and if you contribute and if you're a good team player, you will always prevail. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Your Excellency. We have a student, Willow Chikane. Uh, she will present you a gift. One painting is her uh, painting, her sister did. And uh, she's also a student. Can I?